Coming from the table of popular investigative journalist David Hundeye, he said, and I quote, Our worst fears seem like they are coming true. The drug pusher actually intends to attack Niger Republic and the Nigerian military is currently being mobilized to Sokoto in the northwest to launch an air offensive on Niger Republic. Hey! Omo! So, like this now, Tinibu first launch an air offensive towards Niger Republic after warning them with seven days ultimatum to install back their president after the coup that the military took over. Hey! Omo Tinibu no de lafu. This one a democracy by force, so you must install the president to na come out for siege, take over. The military go attack back because as I'm talking to you like right now or like this, how I want to put them. Today's date is second day of August 2023. Reported live from Lost TV Media headquarters. Like my brothers and sisters, we all can remember like that last two days, the head of Niger Republic, the new general that they installed, who is now controlling the nation, and Guinea plus um, Burkina Faso, they have teamed up. They have teamed up together to attack anybody that touches Niger Republic know this and they they were even cited working with russian president putin so this war is not just nigeria or ECOWAS versus niger it is four african countries together the military versus ECOWAS. ha hey chineke so let me carry you to the full details first before we start talking on anything. He said, President Tinibu has ordered Nigerian soldiers to mobilize in Sokoto to prepare to attack Niger Republic. Investigative journalist Devi Hundeyi makes shocking revelation. This is coming just days after Mali and Burkina Faso officially announced that they will declare war in Africa if ECOWAS nation invade Niger. Let me show you the letter. Can, can see the letter? She, you can see the letter that Tinibu is actually being the first to launch the war. Hey, Omo, Jesus. So, if you do, if you miss the ultimatum that Tinibu gave the Niger Republic to install their president back, this is the um the letter that Tinibu sent to the Niger Republic. He said, all eyes are on Nigerian President Bola Tinibu, President of ECOWAS, to see whether the regional body will restore democracy in Niger or declare war. Following the Niger coup, ECOWAS has given the Putisis seven days to reinstate President Mohamed Bazoum, threatening to use force if need be. ECOWAS has made similar threats and carried them out before. So this one will not be omitted. That's what is being said. Ha! Homo! For this economy war, one come join. Hey God, bad days ahead though. Bad days ahead. I will not lie, my brothers. Bad days ahead. But on God, you survive always. So I would like to hear from you in the comment section what you have to say about this video you just watched. And kindly subscribe if you are new to our channel. Press the bell icon to be notified. Also, to my old subscribers, I love you all and I greet you according to the time anywhere you are watching me from. Don't forget to like and share. Thank you. Namaste. Bye bye. Thank you. I go by the name Black Mamba. Don't forget, I thank God for my subscribers, my phone, and my sub. If you like, if you comment, if you subscribe, I'll keep thanking God for you. I love you all.